Hello YouTube and welcome back to what will be part 4 of um, Project Krapasaki and um, slash review of Millennium Tech. Uh, it's been a while since I last uploaded the video and in the previous video I was packaging this uh, cylinder to be sent to Millennium Tech so they could rework it so if you haven't seen the last video yet then maybe go check it out and see the actual total damage of that it was and uh, uh, as you can see it came back looking like brand new or better than new uh, from what I'm being told uh, you can see the intake manifold here is still cracked but I needed to replace that anyway I just sent it with the entire cylinder because I couldn't get this bolt here loose so I figured it would probably be better to send it with with that bolt because they could probably get it loose for me and then I didn't have to break it off and have them add another thing to repair so it turned out to actually be cheaper to do it this way than to buy a uh, new cylinder head or a new cylinder at least for my part, like a new um, cylinder is like 600, 700 dollars, something like that, plus shipping. And all in all, I paid around 550, 600 with shipping. And that was also for this uh, piston here. And for those uh, gaskets that's in the box there in the bag I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but the inside looks like looks perfect and there's no marks after the um, spraying that was there before I ordered it to have um, to be made for the piston so they use the piston as the sort of base for the size of um, the uh, bore in the cylinder. I also choose to have the um, power valve service by Millennium Tech that they offer. It's like $60 something like that. As you can see it still has the same engravings here in the, on the side of the cylinder so it definitely is the same cylinder I sent away. The power valves are yeah, they're already installed, ready to go. There's some assembly loop on them. I'm not sure how well I can show this, but they actuate really well, really smooth. The packaging that it arrived in was also really well. And uh, like, if they don't care about the packaging of the product, then they probably don't care of the product either. If that makes any sense. And when I got this in the box back from a few weeks of, of waiting, uh, it was actually a double package. Like it was in the box, and there was a bubble wrap around the box, and inside of that box was this inside of this bag, inside of some bubble wrap again. So they took really good care when they were packaging and shipping the uh, cylinder. Customer service wise, um, Millennium Tech seems to be a company that really cares about its customers even though replating cylinders is sort of like a one uh, one time kind of deal like unless you go through a lot of cylinders but still they they seem to go to a really great lengths to make sure that their customers are satisfied like they do stuff like this for instance got a note here to say that I need to replace the intake flange which I already knew because the only reason as I said was I couldn't get off the bolt and didn't want to break the bolt but still the fact that they let you know hey this part here isn't really the way it should be you should do something about that that shows that they really care and initially when they contacted me to um, get to get their payment and to get the shipping quote the shipping quote was like ups three days service something like that that's like um 300 alone 
So that for me at the time was just too much, I couldn't handle that. And I wasn't in a rush to get back either, so I uh, sent the email back and asked if they could maybe get some other company or get a lower shipping code somehow. And a um, few hours later, I get an email back and they got like a shipping quote that was like $100, $150 instead, which was way better for me. The gasket kit that I chose with, uh, the, um, I can't remember if, if it was actually available on the site or if the, the piston I wanted wasn't available on the site, but I just ticked the box that says other and typed in this is the piston or gasket kit that I want. And they sourced it for me and the price they sourced it at was actually a competitive price too. It wasn't like, hey, we're gonna source this for you but we want like 10, 20 bucks extra for it. No, they actually sourced it at like a really competitive price. If you have any comments or questions for me about how my experience with the Milan Tech was, or just anything at all you're wondering about, then just type a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it and uh, the rest of the, this video will be um, installing the cylinder on the engine, the rest of the engine. I'm still missing uh, the rest of this. This is the what's left of the kick lever shaft. So I need to get a new one and until I get a new one of these I don't think I'll be putting on the clutch. It'll just be easier to install the clutch in this new when I get a new one of these and I still need the inner the inner clutch cover because the one I have is so broken so I think I'll be getting a new one of those and a new one of these and when I do that I think I can finally put the engine back into the um, back into the frame and I can at least try and start it because it's been a year since I bought the bike thinking it would be an easy build easy project just get a new cylinder get a new piston and easy to to go but that's not been the case at all so at least when I get the new shaft and the new uh, clutch cover I, I can at least try and see if the engine will at all start because this is actually my first like complete engine build I only done like top end rebuilds
that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, hopefully next time I'll have it running in the frame, or just running at least. Um, I don't know what that's gonna be, probably in some cash chart growing on the tree outside maybe. Leave um, any questions you have in the comment section and see you next time.